house. All the boys in the house. <laughs> yo, yo, if y'all keep up with the videos, you already know what went down. <laughs> So basically the exhaust, these bolts here got loose and because of all the banging and stuff as you can see there, it flattened itself out basically. So the bolts broke loose and then this whole exhaust was hanging and so was this and all this was scraping and then ended up scraping my flex pipe as well. It's not a big deal though. And so if you guys remember I took out the muffler end, oh yeah, and so I'm gonna bolt that back up. I got some hardware uh, from AutoZone, some gaskets from Amazon. These are two and a half inch gaskets, which uh, fit as they should. Pretty much, I'm gonna just bolt that up. I also got some um, turbo intake coupling that hopefully I'm gonna mount here and angle it. Angle it like towards a cold section of the engine bay. Because as, as it was right now, the pod filter was basically as you guys remember right here so all the radiator heat was was getting sucked up pretty much so i got this from amazon and i'm gonna see if i can couple it i don't know we'll see well we'll do one thing at a time i need to chill in effect you can do almost everything you want in life but you can't do it at the same time right. but first things first for the boys Ooh. Not bad. Let's see what these mama jamas consist of. I don't even know if these fit. I just purchased them. Pretty sure they will though. Yep. Let's blast pipe home. Oh, and also. When I hit the cone, I hit my uh, my little dimmer lights or whatever they're called, my daylight running lights. And just like that, boy. need to twist the exhaust a little bit so it lines up really good and just like that so I'm gonna check the rear ones that I bolted up um, on the day that <laughs> They fell off. Just to just to double check and make sure that that they're tight. Here's a better look at the downpipe. All right, so that's done. So I got this uh, basically like an intercooler pipe, but you know, I'm gonna use it for the intake of the turbo instead with this 90 degree elbow. This is where the intake, the pot filter is gonna go. And then, And then just like that, boys. Jeez. Nah, this is the one that got all mangled up up there at the crest. I'm gonna have to get another one. But for now, I have uh, a used one that, a uh, used short one that I'm gonna use to test fit. Uh, let's see, here it is. Something like this. So the good thing about this filter here, like being located right here, is that I can actually get some air, some airflow through this uh, side vent right here right in here through the underside of the headlight 
to the back side there and then over here pretty much i'm gonna just get another one of these filters that's pretty much it like that would be the setup right there so actually i'm gonna shorten this a little bit so it doesn't bottom out against the headlight uh, motor here and i think i'm also shorten this a little bit so the filter fits more comfortably and it's not resting against the chassis here i had already started cutting it but actually i'm gonna mark it like i'm gonna cut it about right here and i'll cut more if i need to first i'm gonna cut that see how it fits and then i'll decide if i want to cut a little more of this just to give me a better idea of what it is i'm cutting i'm gonna mark it all the way around this coupler i'm gonna use a razor blade There it is. It's not perfect, but no one is. It's still hitting right there. So I'm gonna cut even just a tiny bit more. Yeah, it's, I still have plenty of room. Like, you can kind of see where the divot is here. So probably about that much more. I cut about this much in total with the coupler all the way pushed in. It just barely doesn't hit there. So now I'm going to see if I need to cut any more of this. I probably will. Especially if I can shift this back some more. I'll have even more clearance from here to here. If this moves like around here. See this is what I'm talking about right here. It's pretty much resting on the chassis. And then if I close the hood. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's just barely clearing the hood when it's fully latched. So yeah, if I can cut this a little more and then rotate it, that'd be ideal. I think I'm gonna just cut about the same amount on this side. So roughly about like a, a finger. So something like this. All right, so I cut about that much on the pot filter side and then about that much on the turbo side. So here's how it's sitting right now. It's still resting against the chassis, but I was able to angle it some more. So now let's see the uh, hood to filter clearance. I might actually cut even a little more, but you can kind of see where the coupler, the hard in pipe is sitting. So I can cut a little more. Yeah, that's way better. And then it would be even better if I put a heat shield or something like from here up. All right, boys, so we'll leave it at that. Next time you guys see the Miata, hopefully it's ripping and I'll sh you guys will be able to hear what sort of sound differences it makes or what. Because I'm sure adding a pipe uh, will change the noise a little bit, but we'll see. Peace. <laughs>